It has been mostly clear across much of the Arkhamus region, not tracking anything on satellite radar across our area. And much of the southeastern part of the country is relatively clear. There is some cloud cover right now up in portions of northern Arkansas, portions of eastern Tennessee, tracking some light snow along the North Carolina and Tennessee border right now. We do have a wind advisory that does go into effect late uh, going into tonight, going into tomorrow, not set to expire until about 7 o'clock tomorrow night. This encompasses portions of the Delta from Bolivar County, Washington, Sunflower, LaFleur, Northern Delta counties, and even all of southeastern portions of Arkansas. We could see sustained winds up to 20, 25 miles per hour, and some gusts could be up to 30, even 40 miles per hour. So something to keep in mind if you have any loose things outside, you may want to uh, bolt those down or something like that because we will have some gusty winds tomorrow. It was cold this morning, all right? We actually tied a low temperature here in Greenville, 34 degrees, just two degrees shy of freezing. Now it is April, definitely cold. It warmed up to the upper 60s, 69 Greenville, and it was 68 in Greenwood. Now, right now here in Greenville, it is 58 degrees. Winds are currently out of the south. Uh, east right now, seven miles per hour. The humidity is 34%. Now with those gusty winds tomorrow, we do have an elevated fire threat. Open burning will be discouraged as we will have dry fuels that could lead to fire. If there are any local burn bans, definitely heed to those. So something to keep in mind if we're going to have any outdoor plants that does involve fire for tomorrow. We do have a lot of temperature variance right now across the area. 58 here in Greenville, 57 Natchez, it's 64 Shreveport, 75 out in Dallas. It's actually warmer here in Greenville than it is in portions of Florida. 49 Tallahassee, 45 Jacksonville, it's 53 down in Daytona Beach. Now we will reach the upper 40s for overnight lows tonight, so you'll definitely need the jacket in the morning, but by noon, We'll be picking up plenty of sunshine, temperature about 75 degrees. We'll see some clouds return by 6 o'clock. Our highs will, daytime highs will top off mainly in the lower 80s across the area. Now, as we begin next week on Monday, we'll see rain chances begin to increase, especially on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, we could have another severe threat as we approach the midweek. We'll dry out by Thursday, but by Friday, we'll see more rain approach our area on Good Friday and as we go into Easter weekend. Now, the future tracker does show will be mostly clear for tonight, but we have a frontal system that will approach our area as we get into Monday. We'll see some light shower activity early Monday morning. Won't be a whole lot on Monday, only again keeping it at a low 30% chance. But as we get into Monday night, we'll have a stationary front up towards the north, increased cloud cover, and we'll start to see increased rainfall as we go into late Tuesday night, and we'll see more activity as we get closer into Wednesday. Now, tonight, expecting mostly clear skies and going into to, uh, Monday night around 2 a.m. We'll see some shower and thunderstorm activity mainly up towards the north, Bolivar County, Clarksdale. Be mostly clear down towards the south delta. We'll be mostly uh, cloudy for much of Monday. We'll see a few breaks in the clouds tomorrow, uh, excuse me, going into Monday about 2 o'clock with some stray uh, activity down towards the south delta. Monday night around 9 o'clock will actually clear on out, expecting mostly clear conditions late Monday night, but the clouds will begin to increase once we go overnight and into Tuesday. Now, how much rainfall as we go into Monday? Not a whole lot, mainly just trace amounts across much of the delta. Cleveland can see about a tenth of an inch, three hundreds of an inch in Greenwood, and eight hundreds up in Batesville. Now, we do have a chance for severe weather. Again, this does encompass the entire delta uh, going into Wednesday. This is going to be an elevated level three out of five. So we'll be watching that closely. Still a little ways out. Anything can change, but we'll be watching that closely as we get into the midweek. Now tonight, expecting a little 49. We'll be mostly clear. Winds will be out of the south, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. They'll begin to pick up as we go into tomorrow. Monday, we'll begin to see some chances of showers and thunderstorms. More thunderstorms are expected on Tuesday. And expecting lower 80s as the trend for much of the week as we begin it. Uh, severe storms will move in on Wednesday. Especially some dry conditions on Thursday as we cool down a little bit. As we go into Good Friday, we'll see some chances of shower activity returning to the area. And a little shout out to Miss Tubbs class at Hayes Cooper Center. This was in Marigold. I got a chance to come speak to some of the kids out there. They were learning about weather and I got to tell them a little bit about meteorology. Definitely a good group of kids. So thanks again for inviting me out there. All right, Professor Ward in the house. How about that? <laughs> Don't want to brag. Uh, I was just about to say, you mentioned right at the top with weather about we were just a few degrees away from a freeze. Is that right? That was last night. Again, wow. we won't be that cold tonight, fortunately. But it, it, it's kind of April. We've been having that up and down with those temperatures. I mean, we're expecting 80 tomorrow and we just saw temperatures near freezing last night. 
Are we out of the woods with the freezes though? Uh, until we get, I've always said, until we get past Easter, mm. I wouldn't count on it. Once right. we get past Easter, then we can kind of put some of the winter clothes up okay. for the most part. That's just kind of been my philosophy much of my life. All right, well, thanks a lot, Chase.